Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video, and today we're looking at the Farquhar Hill, which is the new medic rifle from the Turning Tides DLC. I'll be giving you an overview of the weapon, my tips and tricks, and a full review before letting you know if it's actually any good. I'll start with the Storm before moving on to the optical variants, and one of these is my new current favourite medic weapon to use. I'll tell you which it is after I've given you the rundown on both of them. Now, if you end up finding this video helpful or enjoyable, then it would be great if you could hit the like button for me. With that being said, let's get into this. So it's the Farquhar Hill Storm that you've been seeing footage of so far, and the stats I'm about to give you are from Simthic.com, where they analyse the numbers in the game and give you a much better representation of what they mean than the stat bars and figures actually found within BF1. So the best way I can think of to go about this is to compare the Farquhar Hill to the Mondragon, as they have similarities and the Mondragon is a weapon that most of you will be familiar with. The similarities start with the rate of fire, as the Farquhar Hill and the Mondragon both fire 257 rounds per minute. Now the Farquhar has slightly higher max damage potential than the Mondragon, but lower minimum damage. Essentially, the Farquhar doesn't have great damage drop-off figures. What it does have though is 20 available rounds per reload, which is pretty solid for what I'm going to call a medium rate of fire medic rifle. It's doubled that of the Mondragon for example. It also reloads all of its rounds in one go, which saves you having to push in individual bullets, which you have to with some medic rifles. The reload therefore can feel a little slow though in order to balance this out, but again this isn't exactly unusual in the medic class. Where the Farquhar Farquhar Hill really shines stat wise though is that it has very good recoil and spread figures. The Storm variant in particular is very nice to use where recoil is concerned. The kick is reasonably minimal and it's just a pleasant experience to use. So while it's nice to fire, you also have enough ammo to pick off 2 or 3 people per reload if your shots are then on point. It's a pretty versatile weapon overall. Sure it's going to lose a close range gunfight against a good Fedorov Avtomat user and it will lose at range against a good RSC user, etc etc. But it's at least good in a range of different engagements and very good at mid-range. I can't say the Storm excels in any particular way, it's just a very well-rounded medic rifle that can have a good go at getting any job done. It's solid at close and long range, has decent hit fire, and is very effective at medium range. Now let's move on to the optical variant, and you can take everything I just said about the Storm and simply add more recoil while lowering the spread. So essentially the optical kicks more, but shoots even straighter. This means that if you pace your shots, you can very reliably hit the target from range. But it also still doesn't kick so much that you can't can't spray at closer ranges when necessary. This makes it another versatile option, and I personally set my magnification down to 1.25 in order to increase this. I feel like the optical sight is enough to help me pick people off in the distance without needing higher magnification that can make close range fights more difficult sometimes. It has a slightly odd feel to it in that you can patiently pick your shots or spray as much as you like at different times. It feels like there's a lot of room to do either of them or change your technique midway through a gunfight. You'll understand more when you use it yourself, and that goes for the Storm variant as well. It just feels like you can pick and choose as you go along and it can kind of do both of them. The hip fire is again solid when necessary, but the optical really really shines at range. It's a great weapon for something like conquest or operations where you can pace your shots and pick people off that you just wouldn't be able to hit with some other medic rifles. All that while you still have good close range capability. So some of you may have guessed which variant I prefer by this point. Well I can tell you that it's the optical. I usually use straight iron sights on medic weapons, but the optical variant on the Farquhar Hill is my new favourite medic rifle due to to just how reliable it seems to be. It just allows you to split enemy faces open from near and far with so much ease. It just feels reliable. I actually feel that both variants perform a little better than their stats would suggest. Not much really stands out number wise, and yet in game it just feels good to me. So yes, I would say that the Farquhar Hill is a good weapon, but I also feel like it's one that will depend on the player more so than some other weapons. I have seen a few people who aren't too keen on it so far. Some people prefer to be at one end of the spectrum or the other, so very very good at close range, or very very good at long range, whereas the Farquhar Hill is just good overall. So let me know in the comment section what you think of the Farquhar Hill. Do you like it? And which variant is your favourite? There's also a link towards the bottom of the description to support the channel for $4.99 a month if you like what I do around here and would like it to continue in the long term. And feel free to like, favourite and subscribe. I'm Get Good Guy, and I'll see you next time. Laters.